Hello everyone and welcome to the topic of D2D communication for 5G networks. In this we are going to discuss about device to device communication for 5G networks. Device to device communication procedures is a new dimension in mobile environment and it is the data exchange process between physically neighboring devices. So to achieve an effective utilization of available resources, reduce the latency, improve the data rates and increase the system capacity, D2D communication utilizes nearby communication devices. So these D2D communication, it is considered to be a promising technique and it will allow mobile devices to communicate with one another directly without going to the access point or the base stations. With device-to-device -device communication, the end users will be able to benefit from a number of services like public safety communication in case of infrastructure damage as well as proximity awareness. In the future, D2D may even allow users to experience benefits in terms of smaller communication latency, increase data rate and reduce the energy consumption. So the potential gains in this, it include capacity gain, user data rate gain and latency gain. It implies new challenges for device design, interference management, security, mobility management and other aspects. The success of D2D is largely depends upon various scenarios in which users in the proximity communicate and applications which are developed. Device to device and cellular communication share the same radio resources. The network controls and optimizes the use of resources for both cellular and D2D which results in enhanced performance and quality of service. It is being specified in 3GPP release and focus on public safety application and proximity based services. How it helped for 5G networks. Device discovery. So the device discovery process occur when the devices transmit a discovery signal through a base station to discover the neighboring devices. Device discovery procedure can be divided into centralized and distributed device discovery. For the centralized device discovery, a centralized entity will assist the devices in discovering one another. It usually at an access point or a base station. Here, the base station need to acquire specific information like channel condition, power, interference control policy, which depends upon the system pre-request. The full or the partial participation of the base station during this discovery depends upon various protocols. The device is not permitted to initiate device discovery with another device if the base station is also included. The base station facilitates all the discovery signals among each device. In order to start this discovery process, the device use the discovery signals that has been transmitted by base station and discover and transmit back to the base station. For distributed device discovery, they have permission to discover other devices without including the base station. So there are many schemes that has been proposed and uh, they are based on the centralized or the distributed device discovery. Here the in-band category, it includes network assisted discovery, that means network uh, help to uh, discover, bacon based and direct discovery. The remaining one is out of band. For this we can use for interference management also. So it is also major weakness which affect device to device communication coexistence of this and D2D pairs, centralized units and D2D pairs that use the same uh, resources that leads to interference issue. So interference avoidance techniques are used to avoid interference between D2D links and cellular links. Here the system checks the antenna uh, combinations where whether it is able to eliminate the cross pair interference and then applies a bucket based degree of freedom. The proposed interference avoidance mechanism works by prohibiting the interference from transmitting a signal around the D2D receiver. This uh, coordination schemes have a significant advantages in in-band D2D communication. 
for the centralized interference coordination scheme this involves monitoring from the base station for the decentralized interference coordination scheme dic the monitoring from the base station is minimized due to participation of these nodes in the coordination mechanism so this is about d2d thank you